All right. So we're going to solve P equals 2L plus 2W for L. So we're going to get L on its own. L on its own. So there's two operations in a way applied to L. It's been multiplied by 2, first of all, and then 2W has been added on. And so it's kind of like undoing a knot or something. You, you, you undo the last operation first. So, so we're going to try to get rid of the 2W first and then I'm divide by 2. Subtracting the 2W. Yeah. Subtract 2W from both sides. And 2W minus 2W is 0. So we have P minus 2W equals 2L. And just for fun, I'm going to write rearranging. I'm going to write 2L equals P minus 2W. This is not required. It's just some students like to have the, the L on the left because they're solving for the L, right? Right. So you're going to have to divide by the 2. Yeah. We're going to have to divide by 2 to get L on its own, that's for sure. And now we get L. The... the the confusion can sometimes come on the right. And do I divide all of it by two or each thing or just the P or like a lot of students, I'll just divide that P. But the reality is you have to divide the whole thing by two, all over two, or you divide each individual term by two, right? And the reason is because if you had 10 apples and um, eight bananas and you were dividing that equally amongst two children, they almost get five apples and four bananas, right? So you've got to go 10 apples plus eight bananas, divide each individual item by two. So each child gets five apples and four bananas. Does that make sense? Yes. Like you can't, like most students just want to divide the P and they leave this alone, but that's not, that wouldn't be fair. You can't just divide the apples up and then give each kid eight bananas. That wouldn't make sense. They, all the terms have to be divided by two, right? So we have P over two minus, and then what's 2W over two? So here are twos cross cancel, don't they? So it's just going to be W. Minus W, yep. And that's the answer there. Okay. Um, now, there's some students like to go, um, some students like to divide this by 2 and divide all of this by 2, and that's actually correct. You can go L equals P minus 2W all over 2. That's also correct. Um, but... I don't know, I guess I stick to this method because it's kind of consistent and we're going to need it. We'll be doing this same thing over and over for other problems, so.